Jai Hind everyone, I am Prabhat Kumar and I welcome you all to PYQ Academy. In today's video, I am going to solve the geography portion of UPSC CAPF AC examination 2021. In the image, you can see uh, C is assistant commandant Usa Kiran. C was the first uh, uh, woman officer to join COBRA. Uh, here COBRA, COBRA stands for Commando Battalion for Resolute Action. Okay. And it is a special force of uh, uh, CRPF, which is working for, um, for which is a special force, uh, which has a special skill in jungle warfare. It is one of the world's best uh, jungle warfare force. Okay, so let's uh, start our today's question. Uh, which of the following is a pull factor for migration? Okay, that means asking what pull factor. So suppose uh, let's take example of two. Uh, places one is Delhi and another is Bihar. So the question is asking what what can be the pull factor of Delhi which can pull migrants from Bihar. So first option is natural disaster. If uh, there is natural disaster in Delhi, why people will come from Bihar? So that is wrong. Second is high wages. So yes, if there is high wages, that then migrant can come and this is a pull factor. So yes, this is correct. Housing shortage, no. If there will be housing shortage, people will not come. And if there will be low income, they will also not come. So the answer is option B. Okay. This is a question directly taken, taken from class 12 geography, human geography portion. Okay. So in this, you can see here that uh, better opportunities for health, um, for education, health, and relatively higher wages can be full factor. Okay. So let's move to next question. In the next question, it is given that what is the depression at the top of a volcano of a volcanic eruption? Very simple question. So, uh, asking about this, uh, you can see this shape will be made uh, at the top of volcano. So, what is the name of this shape? Okay, as you can see, uh, it will be in a V form, and similar to that, its name is vent. Okay, it is known as vent. Here you can see they become explosive if somehow the water gets into the vent. Okay. So when water gets into this opening, uh, this and this opening is known as vent. Okay. So let's move to the next question. Uh, in order to find out the absolute location of a place on the map, which of the following will be required? Okay. So suppose uh, let's take an example of our earth. Okay. And all on we are known known that the vertical lines are known as longitude. Okay, and these uh, horizontal lines are known as latitude. Okay, so suppose let's take an example of suppose this is wait, suppose this is a zero degree longitude. So uh, someone give you that uh, come at zero degree longitude. So uh, but where on zero degree? This is also zero degree. This is also zero degree, and this is also zero degree. And suppose of course a person tells you that okay come to 37 degree latitude okay but where on 37 degree so uh, we need both longitude as well as latitude so that we uh, then only we can I means get a perfect location okay so we need both longitude latitude as well as longitude of place okay so answer is option C neither only long, long latitude neither only longitude and uh, this is totally wrong so answer is our option Okay, let's move to the next question. The speed of wind is measured by it is a question of general knowledge. Okay, so this is option D. Anemometer is used to measure the speed of a wind. Okay, let's move to the next question. In the course of a river in time, which one of the following feature is found when the old main that is closed off by deposition? This is a question directly from the chapter landforms of uh, class 11 fundamentals of physical geography okay part one well geography part one which is known as fundamentals of physical geography so here in the image you can see that these are the meanders okay these are the meanders and when the the meander leaves it uh, previous path okay so and if uh, the place is covered by sand or it is closed now then this uh, 
लैंड फॉर्म फॉर्म इज नोन एजिक ओके क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग अबाउट दिस When the old main end is closed off, this old main end is closed off by deposition, and the uh, landform left is known as oxbow lake. So our answer is option C, oxbow lake. Okay. So let's move to next question. In the next question is given that which of the following is a type of is not a type of chemical weathering? Okay. That means in which type of weathering no chemical reaction takes place? Okay. So by eliminating the options, we can. Come to our answer. In carbonation, chemical reaction will surely take place. Okay, and in hydrolysis and oxidation, chemical reaction will take place. But in growth of salt crystal, no chemical reaction takes place either. Uh, so rather than being a chemical weathering, it is a physical weathering. So our answer will be option B. Okay, here you can see that in NCERT is also given that. The examples of uh, chemical weathering are solution, carbonation, hydration, oxidation, and reduction. So no place of salt crystal growth. Okay, it is actually like this. Suppose this is a rock, and if, if there is any gap in rock, there salt salt when it is filled by some salt crystal and it expands. So it exert force on the rocks and Uh, in a in this uh, in a long period, it develops a large crack and it also it is also able to break the rock in two parts. Okay, so this is a type of physical weathering. Answer is option B. Let's move to next question. It is a question of uh, matching in which the uh, question is asking what which mountain is found in which country or continent? Okay. And the question is very simple. All the mountains are the well-known mountains. First, come to Andes. Andes are found in South America. Where Rockies are found in North America. Okay. Very important one. Then, Ural in Russia. Okay. So by uh, matching these two options, let's come to our answer. So for D, we we have one. So our answer should be from these two. And for A. Yes. Then for B, Appalachians. Appalachians are in North America. Okay. So for B, it is four. So our answer is this one. And Drakensberg, it is in South America. So answer is option B. Let's move to next question. Which one of the following main type of carb iron ore are found in India? Okay. It is asking about main type of iron ore. Okay. Although the ores found in All the ores are found in India, but hematite and magnetite are the main ores which are found in India. Okay, you can see here. I took this from uh, the uh, I think uh, mineral chapter. Oh, uh, it is directly from NCERT. I didn't remember. I think it's from twelfth chapter. Okay. So um, you can see here that uh, magnetite is the finest ore uh, with high content of iron to seventy percent. Then also have a right, and if these two are given in CRT, that then our answer is only one and two. Okay. So let's move to our next question. Where is Assam Conservation Reserve located? This question was in uh, the uh, paper due to current affairs, but in future it can become a static geography question. Static geography question. Okay. So answer is Uttarakhand. Assam Conservation Reserve. It, it is a Ramsar site. Okay, it is a Ramsar site. So answer is option B. Let's move to next question. Caves, arches, stacks, stumps are the landscapes features of which one of the following? Again, from the chapter landforms, where you can see here, it is under erosional landforms, terraces, caves, stacks, wave cuts, cliffs, and terraces. That means wave is the Uh, uh, component here, which will uh, erode these surfaces and form caves, arches, and stacks, dumps. Okay, this is directly given in the RT class 11. Okay, uh, fundamentals of physical geography. Fundamentals of physical geography. Okay, so answer is option B, wave. Let's move to next question. Which one of the following statements about tropical rainforest are correct? Okay, so tropical rainforest. Uh, 
uh, it is a very important vegetation which is found in tropical region so let's have our statement the soil of tropical rainforest are quite infertile uh, no it is not always true because the soil is in the first layer top layer is covered by humus due to uh, continuous shedding of leaves okay so uh, this is not always true okay the vegetation is green is evergreen enabling photosynthesis to take place year round this is 100% true they have been described as desert covered by trees no. very extreme statement they are most productive land based ecosystem yes completely true so by eliminating option 3 okay by eliminating option 3 we can get our answer or we if we are able to eliminate option 1 then only, then also we can get our answer okay so answer is option uh, a let's move to the next question in which one of the following soils the salt content is so high that common salt is obtained by evaporating the saline water in some areas okay directly given from 12th geography okay uh, where soil there is separate chapter on soil so when you will read arid soils you will find that they are generally sandy in structure and saline in nature in some areas the salt content is so high that common salt is obtained by evaporating the saline water. So our answer is nothing but arid soil. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Very simple question. Asking about cardamom hills are regarded as a continuation of. Okay. So you can see here cardamom hills. Uh, this is image from India Physical Chapter. Okay. Uh, India Physical Book of Geography, Class 11. Okay. So uh, this is in South. So you can definitely enlist Mizu Hills and Naga Hills and on the left side it is Western Ghats and on the right side it is Eastern Ghats so definitely it is not Eastern Ghats so we are left with Western Ghats and Western Ghats is the true option. So our answer is option D. Let's move to next question. Uh, this is a very simple question in which you can see here. Uh, we have to match the tributaries. So, Satluj is tributary of Indus, Kosi is tributary of Ganga, Tista Brahmaputra, Jambal of Yamuna. Let's match. Let's. So, for A for 4, definitely between these two options. And then for B3, B3, this is option C. Okay. Let's move to our next question. Which of the following is only river and major port in India? Only river and major port is nothing but Kolkata. Okay. So, answer is option C. Which of the following is not a desert river? Okay, so the, these names are of the rivers which you have never heard, but you must have had this Barak River, and this is found in North East of okay, states of Manipur, Tripura, and then it enters Bangladesh. So it can never origin, originate in a desert. Answer is option A. Let's move to the next question. The heaviest rocks which are rolled along the river bed is in river transport comes under which type of load okay so heavy load comes under traction okay these are large uh, stones okay uh, which uh, which are rolled in the huge state of river okay and uh, this you can find in the chapter gc leon of geography okay geography gc leon book so answer is option d Next question, which of the following factors are needed for growth of corals? Okay, you need to just know just one point that whether it is found in fresh water or uh, salt water. So, have you ever seen uh, corals in river? No, so not in fresh water but in clear shallow water. If you will eliminate option 1, definitely you will get option B as answer. Okay, if you are not known about this but these are the right answer. They are found in warm water as well as they need sunlight for their photosynthesis process. Okay. Convection current which move tectonic plates are found in which layer? They are found in mantle. Okay. The crust is so the crust is the lithospheric part, but after crust there is one mantle which is semi-soil or I can say uh, liquid state. Okay. So you there you can find. 
that is okay uh, volcano mount merapi which erupts which erupted in january 2021 is situated in so it is a question uh, it was a question of current affairs but in future it can also be asked as static geography static geography so mount merapi which is a volcano is found in indonesia okay so our answer is option c so these were the questions of uh, geography of uh, cfpfc examination 2021 and it is one of the easy portion where you where you can score a very good mark okay so you should not uh, leave geography portion because uh, by just revising few chapters or i can say 11 book only you can score 90 percent questions of geography okay so if you like the content then do share it to all those who are preparing for exams like cds nda cfpf okay because the course and the syllabus is same so by practicing the cyp of these three examinations now you can excel in all these examinations and you can get the pdf of this lecture in telegram channel pyq academy whose link has been given in description and you can also connect me on different social media platforms i had also given link of my different handles in the description box okay so till then thank you so much